armored with ten spindly legs, and blue-blooded, this horseshoe crab have always seemed a little out of place. Fossil records for horseshoe crabs extend back about 500 million years. This is well over 200 million years before the existence of dinosaurs. Horseshoe crabs are mainly found in shallow coastal waters on soft, sandy or muddy bottoms. These living fossils have survived major mass extinction events and today their blood is used by the biomedical industry to test for bacterial contamination. Horseshoe crab blood is bright blue. It contains important immune cells that are exceptionally sensitive to toxic bacteria. Scientists use these blood cells to develop a test called Lamutus amoebocyte lysate, or LAL. Horseshoe crabs are harvested by the biomedical industry in order to test medical devices and pharmaceutical drugs for endotoxins. LAL has proven to be the most sensitive and effective indicator of endotoxins contamination in treatment like vaccines, IV drugs, and medical devices, at least 10 times more sensitive than traditional test methods. The horseshoe crab are placed in a rack and their blood is extracted using a large needle. The blood is extracted while it's on its way to the heart, and scientists usually take about 30% of the available supply. The horseshoe crabs are released back into the ocean soon after the bleeding process is done, but it is estimated around 15% of them die as a result of the process. The blood can worth up to $60,000 a gallon. Each year, almost half a million horseshoe crabs are captured and bled alive for biomedical technology. Every year, between May and June, hundreds of thousands of horseshoe crabs come ashore to mate and lay eggs. Each horseshoe crab can release thousands of eggs. When it's over, the beach will be littered with trillions of greenish eggs. Although the number of the eggs is jaw-dropping, most of the eggs will not survive to adulthood, or even to their hatching point. It is because the eggs serve as an important source of food for wildlife like migratory birds, sea turtles, and some fish species. Added on top of that, almost 200,000 of adult horseshoe crabs die in the process of bleeding every year. With the declining population, scientists are now breeding horseshoe crabs in captivity to restore the population. Selected adult horseshoe crab will be brought into the breeding facility and prepared for breeding process. All the horseshoe crabs will be cleaned and checked, and those are with injury or regenerated body parts will be excluded from the breeding process and released back into the water. Breeding horseshoe crabs in captivity has proven to be very difficult, as the mating only takes place in the presence of the sand or mud in which the horseshoe crabs lay eggs. So the scientists are using hand breeding method to rear this creature an artificial breeding and culturing method by collecting eggs and sperm from the matured horseshoe crabs. Later, the collected eggs will be mixed with bodily fluid containing sperms and allowing the mixture to stand until fertilization. The fertilized eggs will be transferred into filtered seawater to be incubated, and filling oxygen until the eggs are incubated. The larvae horseshoe crab will hatch from the egg after about two weeks or more. The larvae looks like a tiny version of an adult horseshoe crab, except they don't have tail, 
and the average total length of the freshly hatched trilobite larvae was 8 mm and very active and swam upside down in the culture tank. The horseshoe crab is a remarkable aquatic organism that adapts well to captivity and handling. Armored with ten spindly legs, ten eyes and blue-blooded, horseshoe crabs have existed for nearly half a billion years, much more older than dinosaurs. They evolved in the shallow seas of the Paleozoic era, an era which are dominated by marine organisms. From the period of Cambrian, which mean they are the most intense burst of evolution ever known, which the time when land animals hadn't evolved yet. But today, they face rapidly declining populations across their range as a result of human activity. An estimated 100,000 baby horseshoe crabs are released into the sea every three months in an effort to conserve the species. The future survival of the horseshoe crab will ultimately depend upon the preservation of its spawning and nursery habitat, both marine and terrestrial. A challenging prospect in light of the ever-increasing human density along the beaches and near shore areas where horseshoe crabs spawn and grow. This hatchery is for conservation purposes to ensure that the horseshoe crab continues to breed. <laughs>